This video will demonstrate the process you need to use to add a new course to your school district's curriculum manager environment. First, make sure that you're logged in as a computer system administrator. If you're logged in as a principal or a teacher level, you cannot add a new course. First, click on the Admin tab. When you clicked on the Admin tab, you want to manage courses, and the first thing that you want to do to manage courses is to click on the Master and Teacher Courses link. When you click on the Master and Teacher's Courses link, all you need to do is name your course. Let's call it New Course. Save Master Course, and that's the first steps. We want to make sure that if you've got a data entry person, can they edit it, yes or no? Is it going to be on the parental interface? Well, we can talk about that later, but the next step that you need to take is to make that course go into a certain grade range. Let's say it's going to be in a fourth grade. So we've made a course in fourth grade, we've called it New Course, and we're going to say that it's a mathematics course. Then we need to make sure that we designate the months in which that course can have content. In other words, if we take out August, teachers won't be able to add content and put it into August. So for our purposes today, we're going to have all of the months checked. The next step is to click on Save Master Course. When we click on Save Master Course, we see that we've got a new course. We see that we've got it in mathematics. We see that we've got it in fourth grade. The next step that I usually like to do when I create a new course is to add a new teacher. I'm going to add our friend Arnold Lardvark. He's going to be the teacher to this course, and we're going to save the teacher association by clicking on that button. Once we've done that, we need to check our work. All of the months are there. Arnold Lardvark's associated with it, and we're there. We've added a new course to the school district's curriculum manager environment.